Okay, um, I was going to wait until the end of February, beginning of March to cut this guy um, over here, but I'm still a little concerned about the frost damage. If you see right here, as I showed, there's the frost damage here and then the frost damage up here. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to cut them. What you're gonna need is welding gloves because trust me, these things get through everything. You're gonna need alcohol to clean off the knife. Uh, and you're gonna need ground cinnamon and you're gonna need a paper towel. Okay, so first what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the alcohol and you're just gonna wanna sterilize the knife because you are making a cut. And you kinda just let that hang over to dry. And then if you're a lefty or a righty, you'll put on the opposite glove. Okay. okay. Now what I'm gonna do is, this is the greatest part where the damage is. So I'm gonna cut right below it. I always try to cut a little below the damage because I can always continue cutting. Because you wanna cut the least amount. And you wanna do this as slow as possible so you don't cut your hand off. Okay. And as you can tell, if I went any lower like I was going to, I would have cut way too much healthy tissue off. This is what you want to see. You want to see green healthy tissue. It is going to have some sort of it's liquid coming out of it to show that it's a new fresh thing. So what I do is I just tamp that and then I'll put this here. And then I always like to discover what went wrong with it. So next. What I do is I take cinnamon powder. It's getting a little windy. And then I just put cinnamon powder over the whole thing. Um, what cinnamon powder does, and you can use this for pretty much any plant, is it prevents any fungal infections on fresh wounds. So you do that. And you're gonna see on the side where it's dripping. That's normal, it'll dry up. And then the last thing I like to do is um, I like to see how bad the damage was, but seeing as this guy here still looks relatively healthy, I want to see if I can salvage him. So I'm going to cut right into here. Okay, and as you can tell, does have healthy tissue, so I might be able to use him as a new cutting. Okay. And then just so he doesn't move around. Okay, so if you want to see how bad the damage was, what I like to do is go right down the middle. Just to kind of get an idea of how far I could have gone. As you can tell, that damage did not extend as nearly as far as I thought it did. But it's always safe to be sorry. Uh, safer than sorry. So I'm going to just leave that alone, discard it. And then this guy, you can already tell he has a callus going up. But because I want him to cut, grow straight up, I'm just going to cut a straight line. Just to do that. And then I don't recommend doing this without gloves on because you probably will hurt yourself. But if you hold it light enough, usually you can do it. And then I'm just going to let that guy sit in the sun, somewhere sunny to dry up. And then I will post an update on that. And as you can tell, this is already working. So what we'll end up doing here I will put him in direct sunlight where the sun will hit right on the callus to dry him up. And then tonight I'm going to put him in shelter so he doesn't get too cold. All right, I hope you have found this informative and I'll see you next time.